She's got books, shelves and shelves and shelves of music and CDs. My, you wouldn't believe her. Of course, she's in the business. She's been in there a long time, though. He was on his bucket list. All the things he's wanted to do all his life, to play a banjo. He talked about it and talked about it, and so, you know, we figured, while I was still employed, <laughs> and I, I went in there to look at something. I think guitars and he, and they weren't even open. And so he went in with me. I said, Dad, come on in. And then he started looking and he thought it was a trick. And it was, kind of, but you know. So I ended up getting him, ordering him a banjo instead of uh, the pair of shoes we went to look for. <clears throat> this is the first one I learned. It was skipped to my little, and I used to murder that thing, man. I mean, my fingers get all over, you know. She says, uh, she told me, she said, well, you'll be in the, in the, uh, the recital. I said, oh, you've got a kid. I said, yeah. She says, hey, you do fine. I said, I'm glad you got a lot of faith in me. She says, hey, you're way ahead of the other ones. I said, well, don't you think I have a leg up being that I played guitar for so many years? She says, yeah, I heard a couple of my other students say that. No. She says, I don't know what kind of guitar they play, but she says, enough said. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 